professor chandrasekhar sharma thanks a lot for your time and welcome on newpedia professor sharma you, today our our interaction is related to the uh, launch of g20 model g20 initiative by iit hyderabad which is going to be launched in april and it is a quite uh, important uh, initiative uh, and uh, i am very sure uh, my audience will get benefited uh, through the input which we will get from you through this interaction so if you permit me i'll uh, initiate the discussion sure okay. professor sharma uh, please tell us something about the launch of model g20 initiative and what are its objectives which iit hyderabad is going to uh, launch in april uh, this year so please tell us something about this yeah let me just uh, try to uh, correct you so this initiative has already been launched yesterday okay. hmm. uh, uh, so we this will be open uh, under stage 1 for next one month so now coming back to the question so this model g20 initiative is basically a way to engage the young students uh, in which we are targeting to touch upon all the 50000 college students degree colleges universities uh, students and we want to take their feedback we want to take their inputs that how the g20 organization which is a premier organization at the international level how it should function so we we want to take uh, them into the consideration we want to involve them into the pressing policy issues how do they feel about it because these are the youth today but they are the future leaders so we want to take their inputs uh, for the future g20 meetings that how we can improve how we can function better good so professor sharma looks like we are trying to groom the youth today as a global leader for uh, future so you also mentioned about the 50000 number of these uh, students so may i ask you uh, how do we uh, decide from where these students will come if i talk about uh, you know geographical area of india so uh, from which colleges are we targeting if that is there in the mind so we will be uh, taking uh, help from aict U, uh, university grant commissions and of course the ministry of education who has supported this initiative and has given this opportunity to iit hyderabad to lead this initiative so we will be involving uh, all these uh, organizations and also this initiative we have taken uh, in association with the indian national young academy of sciences in yas which is a young scientist body which is pan india based organization mm -hmm. and there are members from all over the country from the different uh, uh, universities colleges r and d labs mm -hmm. educational institutes so in that way we would like to touch we would like to uh, contact all these 50000 degree colleges universities okay. and in this uh, initiative the first stage is basically an essay competition so yes. this essay competition will be open to any college student of the country okay for the for the benefit of basically uh, to give a wider representation and the fair representation at the different stages we have divided this uh, uh, stage 1 into the six different zones okay and uh, this basically includes north uh, south east west central zone and the northeast zone okay. and that is how we want to cover uh, all the states of the country okay so when i was going through the theme uh, of this particular initiative professor sharma i found that uh, it is quite wide ranging Uh, though uh, most of the the thematic uh, domains which are mentioned they are related to society environment and global issues uh, ranging from sustainable development to circular economy to even women led development so uh, i want to ask you like uh, what is the significance and relevance of choosing such thematic domains see as you know this group of 20 g20 the uh, premier forum for this international economic cooperation and political uh, uh, representation these are all the global issues which are concerns for all of us right. so as i said this is a this is a exact replica mm -hmm. in which we want the youth to participate okay. they may not get the opportunity to participate in many of the actual g20 meetings and yes. uh, deliberations Yes. but the 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 uh, the agenda for this model g20 is very much similar to the actual g20 okay. so that's why if you see the themes they mm -hmm. are having the wide range of themes be it the climate change be it the uh, uh, circular economy be it the digitalization of uh, the uh, uh, agriculture trade yes. skilling yes. or even the women led empowerment so if you see all these themes they are the global themes 
and yes. that is basically in line with the g20 uh, guidelines also yes so i'm very sure because the kind of uh, themes these are it will sensitize our future uh, budding leaders uh, for these kind of issues which in future obviously will be very very relevant for them also uh, professor sharma uh, when we talk about graduates and post graduates they are going to participate in this so when we talk about graduates and post graduates uh, which are going to participate in this initiative so what is there in our mind uh, like uh, we want students from particular domain of uh, knowledge like engineering or science or we can include all domain of knowledge in this uh, considering the kind of broad perspective of the themes yeah you are absolutely right so considering the wide range of themes as you see in the g20 model g model g20 we we are open to all the students be it from the science stream or from the art stream commerce stream or any other stream so okay. it's not just related to the technical uh, being an iit hyderabad as a technical institute it, it is not just only for the technical institutes it is open to any college students from any stream okay wonderful so uh, professor sharma my next uh, uh, question is related to the you know reason why students should participate in this because as we know these graduates post graduates and nowadays they are very smart and they invest their time and energy in something which they really value so i want to ask you like uh, this initiative how it is going to be helpful uh, to all these students who are going to write essays and as uh, you just mentioned about stage 1 i'll be asking you about other stages also so how it is going to be helpful to the uh, graduates who will be putting their energy in this particular initiative i mean very good question so let me see what are the learning outcomes for the students in this whole process it is actually multi dimensional when they will start writing about any of these themes they have to they have to consider the foreign policies okay. deeper understanding of the socio economic geopolitical relations and at the same time this will also help in enhancing their creative and analytical thinking yes. other than the writing skills true of course they will also be having some exposure of diplomatic ties diplomatic ethics code of conduct of the meetings and also having the debating because stage 2 and stage 3 also elocution and debate debate level competition right. so they will also be honing the you know the, um, the skills of debate and and the and the negotiation skills which are which are very important at the international uh, uh, platform okay. so i think in many ways uh, there are learning outcomes for these graduate and post graduate students through this initiative okay so professor sharma we were seeing that there are three stages of this entire initiative uh, partially you have mentioned about stage 1 uh, which is essay writing so can you also brief us about all the three stages i mean what are these three stages and who can participate in the second stage is it like uh, first stage somebody qualifies goes to the second stage so what is this uh, all about yeah you are right uh, in your understanding so basically uh, let me just brief here again tell you so first stage is open to everyone every college student from any stream mm -hmm. and we are uh, we are requesting them to participate by writing the essay by compiling their thoughts in the essays mm -hmm. for which there is a one month timeline now mm -hmm. and they can submit their uh, thought process through the essay mm -hmm. uh, in an online uh, form submission okay through that we will we will divide these uh, uh, entries based on the zones mm -hmm. six different zones mm -hmm. and in each each of these zones and in each of these uh, themes we will be selecting the three best entries okay based on the essays okay and that is how we will be forming the teams at the zonal level mm -hmm. for the stage 2 okay. we are right stage while stage 1 is open to everyone okay. stage 2 is only for those who qualify right. in the stage 1 mm -hmm. and then that will be basically a zonal level uh, debate competition okay so this zonal level debate competition will be organized at six different cities in the each of these zones okay. and there is will be one day event in which there will be jury members mm -hmm. from the different uh, uh, institutes okay. uh, from the different fields okay. and there will be a debate competition mm -hmm. and again at the zonal level through the debate competition we will choose the best entries mm -hmm. for the uh, for the stage 3 which will be a national level elocution competition okay most likely it will be either in delhi or in hyderabad okay and the whole idea is that after the stage 3 which is the final stage in mm -hmm. each of these themes mm -hmm. we select the best entries okay so that is how we will be going to have we will be uh, going to have the six or seven best entries in each of these themes 
And then, based on the feedback received in the stage two, stage three evaluation from the jury members, we will be giving some time frame, uh, um, fixed time frame to all all of these winners to to uh, 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 refine their ideas and come up with a final document. And uh, we, as a team of mentors uh, from Inyas and IIT Hyderabad side, we will try to come uh, combine everything as a one document, one single document mm -hmm. that is going to be submitted to the uh, G20 Secretary through the Sherpa. Okay, okay, that is wonderful. So, uh, Professor Sharma, whatever information you provided me, uh, can student access all of this and how they will register? So, is there any website which they should go and everything is available there and they should register themselves? Yeah, so uh, through your uh, platform, I would like to inform all the college students that uh, they can look into the uh, dedicated website for this initiative, which is uh, model G20, M-O-D-E-L, G20, uh, at the rate iith.ac.in, that is the email, and model g20.iith.ac.in, that is the website. So through that website, all these guidelines, all the specific themes, that information is provided, and even the online uh, submission form for the essay is also given on that website. If In case if there is any query, uh, you can always drop an email to modelg20 at iith.ac.in. Okay, wonderful. So we will also attach this uh, website name which you have mentioned and uh, we will also provide the link of this with this particular video for the reference of the students. Uh, Professor Sharma, when I was going through this entire information, I found that uh, there's a mention of some kind of award, uh, 15 lakh or something, if I'm not wrong. So that is also mentioned. So how that uh, segregation of that award will be like students, as you know, they will be interested to know that also that uh, at what stage they are going to get this uh, award and how much award. Right. So uh, at each stage, once they qualify, for example, the stage one, there will be some uh, uh, small token uh, appreciation award along with the certificate of merit. And again, if they if they qualify in the journal level, uh, then there will be, of course, the prize money will be proportionally higher, and uh, there will be uh, again certificate of appreciation for that. Okay. And uh, at the final seven entries, six or seven entries, at the national level, <coughs> they will be getting the uh, certificate directly from the G20 Sherpa. Okay. And uh, of course, the award money is also uh, quite uh, attractive. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Professor Sharma, uh, so when we uh, motivate students to go for these kind of stages and essay writing and all, uh, what comes to their mind is like uh, how we should prepare ourselves so that we perform really good in this. So is there anything which uh, we think of like uh, they we expect from students something like originality of the thoughts or something like that uh, when we motivate them to go for uh, such stages, essay writing and all? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we, will, we will certainly uh, welcome the novel novel ideas. Okay, uh, <coughs> so that's why I think in the form submission form itself there is a clause that uh, the idea which you are submitting that is novel, that is creative, that is not copied from some other source. That is one. <coughs> Second thing, uh, what we want is that there are a lot of G20 events going on in, in the country uh, uh, because of the G20 presidency India has. So through this initiative, we also want that these students, they, they uh, take the cognizance of those activities, take the uh, different uh, ideas from there that how we are engaging the G20 countries, their representatives, their delegates in various aspects. That will give some idea for them to write their thoughts to compare their thoughts. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, Professor Sharma, now my next question is related to uh, model G20 themes only. <clears throat> so, they are quite relevant. I was going through the themes and they are relevant for society, environment. So, my uh, uh, next question is related to that only. I wanted to ask you, like, uh, when we are initiating this entire uh, process now, like, we are... Uh, uh, motivating students to uh, think about these particular uh, domains. Uh, maybe in the future, they will work in these particular areas only. So IIT Hyderabad also we know is uh, among new IITs. It is one of the most 
uh, dynamic IT in the sense that uh, in, uh, you know, including new uh, uh, environment related courses, uh, related industry related courses in its curriculum. So is IIT Hyderabad also planning something like whatever themes which we motivate students to think about today. Uh, so they also get to study these kind of things in IIT Hyderabad through some curriculum or course. So how we are going to sustain this entire process in future? Yeah, thank yeah. you for asking this question and to answer that. Uh, if you see the themes of the primary agenda for this Model G20, uh, many of the themes, IIT Hyderabad is already uh, working uh, quite extensively. For example, be it the climate change. Yes. Uh, we have a separate department of climate change. Uh, we are going to uh, start a new school on sustainability because we believe that uh, sustainability uh, and the climate change uh, they are quite interdisciplinary. They are not the just uh, talk of the future, but they are the reality. So we already have uh, MTech program in climate change. We are going to have a MTech program on sustainability from the next semester with the School of Sustainability. And also the circular economy. We have a lot of uh, emphasis on the circular economy as a part of our uh, academic programs. For example, there is a program in e-waste management electronic waste management and tech program in which we talk about the circular economy. So I think some of these agendas which are part of the G20, mm. IIT Hyderabad uh, through its academic and research curriculum, they're already catering some of those aspects. Um, and in, in that way, I mean, even the women-led development, for example, mm. uh, we, we, I mean, uh, I think uh, as a dean of uh, research, I can say at IIT Hyderabad uh, just last week, we have taken an initiative that we will make our all research forms gender neutral. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, we are taking a lot of such initiatives, which are quite innovative mm -hmm. and uh, being a young institute where the average age of the faculty is 37, mm -hmm. that gives us the definitely an age uh, to try new things, to do the innovations in academia and curricula uh, in research. Mm -hmm. And I think that is, that is the plus point for IIT Hyderabad, which is also in line with some of these G20 is in the points. Wonderful. So uh, I'm sure uh, this will be taken forward uh, through this kind of initiatives, uh, Professor Sharma. So I have come to almost an end of our, this wonderful interaction. So all my interaction points, uh, you have given a very lucid and straight uh, uh, points for all these interaction uh, questions, which I asked you, Professor Sharma. Now last I come to you and uh, any message you want to give to all my viewers who are listening to our this interaction. I think it's a very wonderful opportunity for all of us uh, in this Amrit Kal of uh, India that we are uh, uh, hosting G20, we are having the presidency of the G20. Right. And I think through various activities at the national level, I think every day there is some or other activity uh, in the G20. Uh, my request to all fellow uh, 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 students and the citizens in general that Let's, let's be involved in some or other activity and let's see how India is performing at the international level now. Wonderful. So India being president of G20, as you rightly uh, quoted and mentioned, it's Amrit Kal truly for uh, all of us here, Professor Sharma, and uh, I must congratulate you for the initiative you have taken in this particular direction. And I uh, wish you all the very best for a very successful uh, completion of this entire process, Professor Sharma. Thanks a lot for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thanks a lot. And uh, I think a uh, uh, wonderful evening to your viewers. Thank you. Thank you.